ऑप्टमिनेशन ऑफ ई एम एफ ऑफ अ हाफ सेल बाय अ सिंगल इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल वी ऑल्सो मीन द ई एम एफ ऑफ एन आइसोलेटेड हाफ सेल आर इट्स हाफ सेल रिएक्शन और इज वी कैन टेल द एज अ हाफ रिएक्शन सो द ई एम एफ ऑफ अ सेल दैट इज मेड ऑफ टू हाफ सेल्स can be determined by connecting them to a voltmeter here you can see the voltmeter however there is no way of measuring the emf half a single half cell directly the emf half the newly constructed cell e is determined with the voltmeter the emf half the unknown half cell e not can be then calculated from the expression e measured which is equals to er minus el this r and l is nothing but right side and left side if the standard half cell acts as an anode the equation becomes er is equal to e measured therefore the value of el will be zero on the other hand if the standard half cell is cathode The equation takes the form as follows: El is equal to minus of E measured. Therefore, in this case, the value of Er will be zero. So, the standard hydrogen half cell, or else standard hydrogen electrode, which is called as simply She, is selected for coupling with the unknown half cell. it consists of a platinum electrode immersed in 1m solution of h plus ions maintained at 25 degrees celsius so here you can see the platinum electrode hydrogen gas at one atmosphere enters the glass hood and bubbles over the platinum electrode you can see here The hydrogen gas at the platinum electrode passes into solution forming H+ ions and electrons. So the EMF of the standard hydrogen electrode is arbitrarily assigned the value of 0 ohms. So she can be used as a standard for other electrodes. The half cell whose potential is desired is combined with the hydrogen electrode and the emf half the complete cell determined with the voltmeter the emf of the cell is the emf of the half cell for example it is desired to determine the emf of the zinc electrode it is connected with the standard hydrogen electrode so the complete electrochemical cell may be represented as zinc having a phase boundary Why you can see the salt bridge, and here H two in terms of Pt that is platinum. The EMF of the cell has been found to be minus zero point seven six voltage, which is the EMF in terms of the zinc half cell. Similarly, the EMF. of the copper electrode that is cu2 plus phase boundary copper can be determined by pairing it with standard hydrogen electrode when the electrochemical cell can be represented as platinum electrode over here is there this one is hydrogen h plus hydrogen ion here you can see there is a small correction of hydrogen ion in terms of spelling and this one is a salt bridge and over here we have copper so the emf of this cell can be determined to be 0.34 voltage which is the emf half the copper half cell so e not cell which is equals to e not copper minus e not she that is standard hydrogen electrode by substituting the values it will be 0.34 minus 0 so the answer is 0.34 voltage the two situations are explained as follows when it is placed on the right hand side of the zinc electrode the hydrogen electrode reaction is 
2H plus ion on reaction with the electron we get hydrogen. The electrons flow to the standard hydrogen electrode and it acts as the cathode. When the standard hydrogen electrode is placed on the left hand side, the electrode reaction is hydrogen giving hydrogen ion plus electron. So the electrons flow to the copper electrode and the hydrogen electrode as the anode. Evidently, the she can act both as an anode and cathode and therefore can be used to determine the EMF of any other half cell electrode or single electrode. According to IUPAC convention, the standard deduction potentials alone are the standard potentials. So the values of the standard potentials at 25 degrees Celsius for some common reduction half reactions are listed here as shown. So these are the reduction half reaction having their values in terms of voltage. So this one is for fluorine and we have for so many reactions. For hydrogen dioxide and for so many cases like gold, silver and